Okay, we are on um, Develop Your Skills 6-4 Receive Inventory, page 239. In this exercise, we will receive the shirts and later receive the bill for them. Following the receipt of the bill for the shirts, we will receive the scarves and the bill for them together. So receiving inventory. This chapter is about re receiving inventory. So we go to Company, Home Page, Receive Inventory drop-down arrow. in the vendors area of the home page and then receive inventory without bill. Okay, so receive inventory, drop down, see the arrow, and then receive inventory without a bill. There we go. Click. Okay, type A-L-L-I and then tap the tab. A-L-L-I and then tap the tab. So Allison appears. Okay, and then we're gonna hit yes. So open purchase orders exist for this vendor. Do you want to receive against one of those purchase orders? Yes. So now we are receiving items against an existing purchase order. So, and we said yes, we want to do that. So then the next thing we do, click to place a check mark in the first column for the PO number 15-001. So click here, put a check mark and then um, click OK. So we're getting inventory against that purchase order. Okay, QuickBooks displays the Create Item Receipts window with the information from the purchase order filled in. Notice that the items appear on the Items tab at the bottom of the window, not on the Expense tab. Okay, so here's the little window, the vendor, the Open Balance, POs 1. Okay, here it shows you the, the two things here. So tap the plus sign on the keyboard to change the date to 1-12-2015. Actually, all we have to do is click here and make it 1-12. Okay? And then um, click Save and Close. And then receive the bill. So enter the uh, click the Enter Bills Against Inventory task icon in the vendors area of the home page. Enter bills against inventory. Enter bills against inventory. Tap A-L-L-I. Okay, here we go. Okay, click anywhere within the line for the item receipt dated 1-12-2015. Click OK. So received items. Bill to follow. QuickBooks will display the Enter Bills window. Tap the tab, okay, and change the date to January 15. So we can even just do this and make it January 15. Save and close to record the new bill. Click Yes to record your changes. Okay, so this is the new bill. Okay, save and close. You have changed the transaction. Do you want to record your changes? Yes. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is receive inventory items with a bill and add an expense to the bill. Okay, the scarves and the bill for them arrived at the same time. So sometimes you'll get the clothing on one day and you'll get the bill on a different day. Sometimes you'll get them on the same day. So now we are getting the inventory and the bill on the same day. Click the Receive Inventory drop-down arrow in the vendor area of the home page and then choose Receive Inventory with Bill. Okay, receive inventory, receive inventory with bill. Type K and then type tab. So go here and put a K, oops, and then it brings this one, hit tab to get you out of there, hit yes. Okay, click to place the check mark next to the PO. And then click OK and follow these steps. The vendor is knit a bit the address we can fill out later. The date is we're going to make the date be the 16th. Okay, the terms are 1% 10 net 30. Okay, and then we're going to put the memo. We're just going to write a memo that makes sense to us. So we're going to put AGD. You can put anything in memo. So he wants to put AGD-01-2015. So 
maybe that he received the inventory on this date. The amount due, we're going to make it 275. Okay, the reference number is going to be the same. So we're going to call this the reference number. I'm just going to copy and paste, put the same thing. Okay, we have the date, we have the date, we have the item, handmade scarf, quantity 25, we're going to make it. Okay, $10 makes this 250 makes, okay, so all of this is in. And then we are going to hit um, all of this. Okay, so we're going to receive a 1% discount if we pay the bill by the discount date of January 26. So this is the discount date. If you pay it early, it's due on the, on February 15, but if you pay it by January 26, you get a 1% discount. Okay? So basically what it means is you get a 1% discount if you pay it 10 days early. Okay? On a bill that is net 30. So this is basically from 116 to 215 is like net 30. You you have 30 days to pay the bill. But if you pay the bill within 10 days on the discount date, you get 1% off. So that's what this means, 1%, 10, net 30. You get 1% off if you pay the bill in 10 days, even though you have 30 days to pay it if you, if you want to wait for 30 days. Okay, so there's that. And then we are going to um, enter an expense. So basically, after we're done with all of this, we can hit, let's see, when you receive the bill, enter an expense on the bill, okay, on the bill for inventory items. Okay, click to display the expenses tab. So we're going to say, okay, not yet, not yet. Okay, expenses tab. Okay, there's the expenses tab. Shipping expenses, S, H. Okay, so we're going to put expenses. The items are 250 shipping expenses. Let me see if there was one in the drop down. Let's look. Shipping expenses. I don't see it here. So we have to create it. Yeah. So we're going to create it. It's not on there. Tab. We're going to hit setup because we, we don't have a shipping expense account. We're going to hit setup. We're going to hit, um, it is already an expense. We're going to hit continue. We are going to put 67500, 67500. We're going to, and everything else, this is a new account called shipping expenses. We're going to hit save and close. S click save and close in the enter bills window. Okay. Save and close, and you have changed the terms for knit a bit. Would you like to have this new information appear the next time? Click no to reject changing the current terms for knit a bit, so no. Okay, and that's how we enter an expense on the bill for inventory items.